What's up guys? First things first, new haircut. The mullet is gone, RIP to the mullet 2022. Gone for now at least. Uh, super, man, I just got a skin fade, probably the highest I've ever gone, and that is a scar from when I was a child. Not the mistake on the barber's part. But yeah, I've got a hair tutorial coming for you next week, what we did, the haircut, how to style it. Uh, so I just wanted to address the elephant in the room and now we can move on to today's topic. It's kind of funny to me how something used so often and so frequently in our hygiene routine gets kind of just pushed off to the side a little bit, not talked about so much, kind of forgotten. Like most people are down with just about any shampoo and conditioner. If you run out, you run to the store, find the cheapest one that you can grab um, and you're good to go. On one hand, it kind of makes sense. Hair products get a lot of attention because they make the biggest visual impact on the overall hairstyle. Shampoos and conditioners don't have as obvious an effect on the overall outcome of a hairstyle, which is why I think people are kind of like, eh, I'll just get whatever. Shampoo and conditioner, they all do the same thing, right? Well, that's where you're wrong, my friend. And to honor the upcoming launch of the Blumon shampoo and conditioner, which yes, finally, after two years, we have an official date that this stuff is dropping. It was starting to feel a little bit like a myth, but this is real life. We've got it here in the hands. It's physical, it's actually coming out. But yes, in honor to the release, I thought this would be a great topic to cover. Make sure that you stick around to the end because we've got a really big giveaway involving our shampoo and conditioner. So stick around, find out how you can enter. Going back though, here's the thing. Hair products can get you pretty far when it comes to a good looking hairstyle. But the condition of your hair, the health, the softness, the moisture that it retains, these are all things that help make a hairstyle look better naturally. And all of these factors, health, softness, moisture retention, and the general look and feel of your hair, both natural and styled, can be majorly impacted by your shampoo and conditioner. So let's talk about the main difference between cheaper shampoos and conditioners and something of more quality. When it comes to your typical drugstore options, most shampoos have very harsh sulfates that are super effective at cleansing, to the point where they're actually over effective because they strip your hair more than they should. A quality shampoo, and obviously quality is what we're going for every time Bloom On drops a product should bring your hair back to a natural state where it feels clean and free of buildup, but not overly stripped and dry. Additionally, a lot of people think that shampoos are only for cleansing. And while yes, this is the main purpose, a quality shampoo should be providing additional benefits in addition to the cleanse. One of the reasons why it took us so freaking long to get this stuff out here is because we were overly picky on making sure that both the shampoo and conditioner were really providing some long-term benefits on top of your standard, what you would expect, like a cleanse. And, and, a, and a condition. There's a lot of extra goodies that have gone into here. So yeah, it's taken a long time. I was able to spend a good amount of time in the lab with chemists going over sample after sample, working towards the final product. I'm really happy with what we finally came out with, even though it did take way longer than I was hoping it would. For example, one of my favorite ingredients from both a functional and aesthetic perspective that we added are these vitamin E beads that you can clearly see in both the shampoo and conditioner formula. Now I'm not gonna lie, for me, the fact that these beads offer a unique unique look and feel to products that often feel super samey. It's enough to sell me on it, but they are actually functional as well on top of just feeling and looking cool. The beads start out solid, but they break down and burst as you massage them into your hair, which helps support a more healthy scalp due to the antioxidant properties that are in the vitamins, and it increases shine, just giving off a more healthy head of hair, uh, look, both from a look and feel perspective. On top of that, a few other ingredients I wanna highlight in our shampoo is panthenol, which helps strengthen hair and retain moisture, witch hazel, which is also rich in antioxidants and antibacterial properties that helps to calm irritation like itchiness and redness, uh, along with a whole bunch of other goodies that we've got cooked up in there. So that's shampoo. A good shampoo should be effective at cleansing without overly stripping or drying the hair, as well as adding actual nourishing elements that will help create that appropriate balance between a fresh feel and, and moist retention. Now as for conditioner, and here's what will hopefully blow your mind. Your more basic, cheaper drugstore conditioners use a higher percentage of synthetic ingredients that are coating the follicles of your hair, making it feel softer, when in reality, that's all it's doing. It's making your hair feel healthy 
for a short period of time, for the time that you've used that product. It's not actually adding any long-term benefit or health back into your hair. It's like, uh, to give you an analogy, it's like putting beautiful Italian marble wallpaper over a piece of plywood. It might look a little better, but that piece of plywood isn't any better just because it has that covering. Now, don't get me wrong, a quality conditioner does often uh, use ingredients to act as a protective sealant that goes over your hair follicles, kind of similar to cheaper conditioners, but the difference is these coatings also help to protect against things like breakage and heat, uh, which helps to increase the overall durability of your hair strands. And on top of that, a good conditioner should be providing you with long-term health benefits that actually help to improve or at least maintain healthy hair in the long term. So the longer that you use this product, the healthier it should be making your hair. If your hair is already healthy, it should be helping to maintain that health, you know, actually impacting the hair follicle rather than just going on, on the outside. So guys, moral of the story, without overcomplicating the message, a quality shampoo and conditioner is essential to more healthy hair. It's something that you use all the time and it can actually have a really big impact. And healthier hair leads to better hairstyles, which I think most people watching this channel, uh, they want a really good looking hairstyle. So it all starts with healthy hair. So next time that you're ready to pick up something new, uh, hopefully you keep that in mind. And hopefully our new nourishing shampoo and conditioner might pique your interest. After two years, we're finally bringing this to the public and it's gonna be officially on sale on June 1st, 2022. That's what, like not that long from now. June 1st, everybody. In the meantime, we've got a giveaway which you can check out down below. We've got one first place winner and 10 runner ups. The first place winner will win a year supply of Blue Mon shampoo and conditioner for an entire year. And the 10 runner ups will win one shampoo and conditioner along with a few other uh, hairstyling products from the Bloom Online. So 11 total winners, good amount of stuff being given out. You can sign up to enter that giveaway right down below. Appreciate you guys sticking around with my sporadic upload schedule. Um, I keep saying, but a lot of work is going into this barbershop that we're working on. Can't wait for that to get off the ground either, which should be coming kind of soon. In the meantime, uh, hopefully you learned something new here today. I'll be bringing you guys a hairstyle tutorial next week. I'll see everybody next time.